Hi guys. All right, today we are going to practice rounding numbers. And when we round numbers, we are going to look at a couple things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to round numbers to the nearest tens place. And I'll show you what that means. So um, the best way that I can think about it is if I have a number line and I have, let me mark some spaces on here. Let's start pretty small. Let's say that I want to round, oh Lord, nearest, there you go. All right, so let's say that I want to round to um, the nearest tens place and I want to round the number 230. Okay, so I'm going to think about first, I'm going to look at this um, right here, and it says tens. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to think, okay, which one is in the tens place? So I have my ones, my tens. So my three is in the tens place. So I'm going to think about that digit as a 10. So I know that because there's a three there, it's three groups of 10. 10, 20, 30. So the value of that is 30. So if I start off with 30, and I'm going to think about um, what would be the next group of 10, and the next group of 10 would be 40. Okay. And I'm in the 200, so this would actually be 230 and 240. So my number 234 is going to fall somewhere in between these two places okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to find the midpoint right here i'm going to put m for midpoint i'll go ahead and put mid now 230 and then i have 240 so the midpoint would be 235 because 35 is i've got five between here and here on the left and five between here and here on the right. Okay, so 234 is going to be right before 235. So I'm going to mark this 234. Now I'm either going to choose 230 or 240, and I want the nearest. So the nearest right here is. 230 because look at the distance um, it's on the left hand side of my midpoint it's on this side right here so the closest is going to be 230 this right here is a much bigger jump so nearest means the closest and 230 is my closest there okay so that's how you would look at it on a number line so let me clear this All right, let's look at another one. So let's say that we are going to round and we're still, let's still do the um, nearest, I did it again, nearest tens place. Okay, so the nearest tens place. And let's say that we have the number um, 4,560, two okay so without the number line so then the number line really helps because it gives you a visual and it actually helps you see okay this number is closer and i can see um why okay um we can also do it by just looking at this so again nearest tens place we're going to find the 10 so here's the ones place the tens place so find that tens place we're going to go next door to the right and we're going to see what's there. Okay. So I have a little poem for you. So it goes, find the number in its spot, go next door and see what you've got. So here we found the number in its spot. The spot is the tens place. Here's the tens place. Go next door and see what you've got. We've got a two five or more we're going to raise the score four or 
unless we're going to let it rest, okay? And when I say the word rest, I want you to think of mom saying that she needs a break, she wants to rest, don't bother her because she's going to go lay down and take a rest, okay? That means mom wants you not to touch, not to do anything, not to not to go, you know, start talking to her. She wants to be left alone, right? I'm sure we've all, I know I told, I've not, I know I've told Kian that before. So I know you guys have probably heard it before too. Let me rest, leave me alone, okay? So when we say four or less, let it rest, we are going to leave it alone. We are not going to touch it. Four or more raise the score means our number that is in this tens place, because we're going on the tens here, is going to go up. So it would increase by one, okay? So this one, when we go next door, so let's say our poem again, find the number in its spot, go next door and see what you've got. Five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So two, Two fits in this category because two is less than four, okay? So we're going to let it rest, meaning we're not going to touch it, okay? We're going to leave it alone. So see this box right here? This is what either gets moved up or gets to stay the same. So we're going to leave our, so this is going to equal, um, we're going to let it rest, so we're going to leave it alone. It's going to stay a six. Now here's the second part of the poem. All the numbers to the right run to zero in a fright. Okay, so let me say the whole thing again. Find the number in its spot. Go next door and see what you've got. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. All the numbers to the right run to zero in a fright. So this two, because it's to the right of my box, I'm going to make it run to zero in a fright. So 4,562 rounded to the nearest 10. This place is 4,560. Notice the only thing that changed was that tens because we're working with tens. Okay, let's do another. All right, this time we're going to move to the nearest. Let me see if I can finally spell nearest correctly. There we go. Nearest hundred place. So now while I'm writing this out, think about what's going to be different. Now we're in the hundreds. Okay, so let's get a number here. Let's do 15,000. Let me write that a little bit bigger. Let's do 15,463, okay? So the very first thing, remember, we're going to look at the hundreds place. So find the number in its spot. Remember, its spot tells you right here, nearest hundred. So ones, tens, hundreds. Box it. Find the number in its spot. Go next door and see what you've got. We have a six. So now we have to decide, is six, five, or more? We're gonna raise the score. Or is it four or less and we're gonna let it rest? Okay, so six is a five or more because it's more than five. So we're gonna raise the score. So now, when we write our number, we're not going to touch anything to the left. We're only working with the hundreds. And if we're raising the score, if I have four points and then I raise the score and get another point, that four is going to change to a five. Okay. And then remember, everything to the right is going to run to zero in a fright. Now notice. Here we're talking about hundreds. Look here, 500, okay, 100 has two zeros. 
So if you changed and you moved to the nearest hundred, you should also have two zeros. Notice when we did the tens, 10 has one zero, so our number ended in a one, one zero. If we round to the nearest thousand, thousand has three zeros, we would have three zeros. Okay? All right. Elise, let's try another in the hundreds. All right, let's take, um, so we're doing nearest hundreds. Okay? And let's do. Um, 164,554. All right. So let's say our poem, find the number in its spot. Go immediately look. What are you doing? Nearest hundreds. Box it. Find the number in its spot. Go next door and see what you've got. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. Here we have a five. The five is a five or more. Five or more means five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Four or less means four, three, two, one, zero. So this is a five or more, so we're going to raise the score. So again, when we do that, remember, we're only talking about hundreds, so we only care about this box number, so everything to the left, we don't care about the 100,000, the 10,000, the 1,000. Those stay the same. We're only changing the hundreds, which is just from here back. These are what's getting changed, okay? Nothing over here changes just hundreds. All right, so we're raising the score because it's a five or more. So I had five points. I'm going to raise it. Now I have six points. All right, and then remember it's hundreds. How many, how many um, zeros is in hundred? Two of them. So I need to, all the other numbers are going to run to zero. So all of these run to zero in a fright. And notice there's my two zeros, okay? They should match. Nearest hundred, I should see a group of hundred. This is six groups of hundred right here, okay? All right, clear that. All right, so let's review um, what we did. So first we started off with the tens place. Then we moved to the hundred. So again, if I'm rounding to the nearest tens and I've got 152, I'm going to box my tens place, go next door. Two is a four or less, so I'm going to let it rest. Remember, we're not going to, we're going to let mom rest. We're going to leave her alone. So the five is left alone and all the other numbers run to zero in a fright. Okay, hundreds. We can do the same number, but this time, because we're doing hundreds, and this was tens, notice tens place, box ten place, hundred, box hundreds place. Find the number in its spot. Go next door. See what you've got. Five or more, we're going to raise the score. Okay? So my one is going to turn into a two. All the other numbers, they run to zero in a fright. So here's how you do the tens place, the hundreds place, and um, we'll eventually continue with moving into the thousands and bigger. So um, again, the poem is find a number in its spot, go next door and see what you've got. Five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. All the numbers to the right run to zero in a fright. All right, guys, thanks for following along.